And so, ladies and gentlemen, for our next bout of the evening, please welcome to the blue corner, all the way from Los Angeles, the USA, it's Victor Sadari! from the uh, glamorous hills of North Hollywood, California, USA. Do not let the postcode fool you. This man is from the school of hard knocks, recruited into street gang culture at the age of just 13. Says things almost certainly would have turned out a whole lot worse had he not found the sport of Muay Thai and got his life back on track. Trains under the guidance of David Huey in the Muay Thai America gym these days. And Huey says his man has real fight IQ and as you mentioned earlier Dave he's a man making real waves in the sport state side yeah very very tough lad um, obviously we've got Dan McGowan who's a very technical fighter I, I have a feeling that Victor is gonna bring the fight today and he's gonna come hard he's uh, he's been knocking people out over in the States so it'll be interesting to see what kind of game plan he comes with as you said, street kid, Victor tough boy. Sanavia. He wouldn't have come all this way to sit down for Dan McGowan. And please welcome to the red corner from London, England. It's Daniel. It's this feeling, he says, for him, one of the greatest in the world. Hearing the roar of the crowd, the music hit, and your ring entrance, and down he comes. Dan McGowan performed so well in his last contest here at the O2. Actually beat a man who's going to be main eventing tonight. Adrian Lopez, the Spaniard, who will be up against Damian Trainer. McGowan put him through his paces, winning a decision victory in November here at the O2 in London. What a journey it's been for him, fighting out of Team Chew in London by way of Palmpetch Ruron in Bedford. A big night for him, Dave, again here. It is that, uh, and again, it's his home show being here uh, at the O2 on the Muay Thai Grand Prix. But Dan McGowan's played on the big stage all over the world. This kid's been in Lumpini, Rajadamnan. He's fought at top, top level, and he's fought since he was a nipper. Very talented boy. Daniel McGowan! Still really only a young man in there. Doesn't look very old and his age belies the experience that he has. Yeah, I think he's only 21, 22, something like that. Still got a lot of years ahead of him in the sport. Still got bigger things to achieve. Palm Petch in his corner there has been with him. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this international full-time rules bout will be contested in the minus 54 kilogram over three three-minute rounds. Introducing to you, firstly, fighting out of the blue corner, he's representing Muay Thai America Gym in Los Angeles, USA. It's Victor Dynamite Sadami. See those hands there, they are what Victor's known for. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, representing Team Choo Choo in central London, England. One of London's brightest fighting stars, it's Daniel McGowan. Gentlemen, come to the court center. Okay, so this is a full Muay Thai rules. Big you reception rules. for Dan okay, McGowan. Protect at all times. Let's have a clean fight. Good height good advantage Judge there to corners. McGowan. Uh, Judge ready. A very ready. good technician of the sport. Judge ready. Good kicker. Will use his range, I reckon. And uh, Victor will be planning on stopping him doing that. I can see the man in the blue looking to close the distance and let those hands loose. So dangerous. Should be a good test. Boxers ready. Round one. So Box. full tie rules, A class, five, five, three minute rounds. Dan McGowan in the red corner. 
Victor Saravia in the United States in the blue. We see straight away Victor plans to close the distance and come at his, his opponent. McGowan's prerogative inevitably is to try and keep this one long. Yeah, you see Victor there looking at angles already, angles on his punches. McGowan using that long guard. He's going to have to make sure he uh, watches out for those shots, but great knees there. Box. Daniel's fought uh, some top ties out in Thailand. Never shied away from anyone. Here representing Team Chu. Nice one-two hook combination and Saravia responded in kind. Then a low kick from the American. Quick legs from the visitor. Oh, just turning back kick. Heavy low kick landing by McGowan. Just working on the legs of the, the shorter man there. But there's those punches. And Victor looks like he's lining them up. McGowan needs to be careful. And he came straight up through the middle of the guard with that uppercut off the back of a nice combination. Then a lead right hand from him. Saravia dangerous on the inside. Can McGowan keep him long? Caught the, uh, the teep oh. there, Saravia. Swept the box standing leg from underneath him. Very quick as well, uh, Victor Saravia. Nice little leg kick on the way out there from McGowan. McGowan working on chopping that lead leg down of, of uh, Saravia. Maybe slow him down. Oh, that was nice. Above it, the leg. Box took him off balance. As you say, there's some reddening on that front leg. Crashes a low kick into it again. Nice work from McGowan. Just kicking at range. Hopefully be able to take the spite out of some of the work from the American early on in those later rounds by taking away that front leg. It's got nice movement, uh, Saravia, and he came in with a good left hook there. Again, I do feel that that's where the danger is against uh, the, the American. His hands are dangerous. You can see him constantly looking as McGowan works. He's looking for the openings, looking for the gaps through. You can hear Philip Chu there in the corner uh, shouting, use that range, Dan. He's got a lot of range on his opponent. He's doing well Time. so far, McGowan. He's, he's struggled to, uh, to keep the gap in the early portion of the, the round, made a few adjustments towards the end of it, and uh, possibly finished the stronger of the two. So an interesting opening round, and you can see this one heating up nicely over the next three or four. Yeah, this has got the makings of a big one. Coming up later on this evening, next up, Hakim Hamesh, Frenchman, against Dean James, a home favourite. What a great story he has, what a terrific career he's had too. And of course, the two semi-finalists, the winners of the two semi-finalists of the four-man NTGP tournament will meet in the final. And then the two main events, Paul Karpovic and Jamie Whelan go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, 59 kilo bout under K1 rules. And then the main event, the return of Damien Trainer out for four years back seconds out. under the spotlight once again. And he faces go, Adrian guys. Lopez, the Spaniard. That, uh, go, the fight with Karpowitz and Whelan will be interesting one because it's K1 ready. rules, but it's over five three-minute rounds. So uncharted Round territory. Box. But back to this one. We have Victor Sarajeva uh, against Daniel McGowan of the UK. Heading into round two. Has a heavy left hook lands from the, the American. It was, and Gow was just concentrating on throwing that low kick of his own when he was caught by it, so just a little bit off balance too. Tried to throw that left head kick as he was coming out as well, and he was he was off balance when he did it, but that was dangerous because McGowan's right hand was down. This this guy is dangerous. American corner shouting to uh, Victor. He's got nothing about Daniel McGowan. Jeering their man on to come forward and close the distance. Take away that reach advantage from McGowan. And let his hands fly. Nice 
So McGowan doing really well to evade and counter. Nice work from him there. Upstairs with the hands, downstairs with the legs. Oh, just pulled Saravia, almost walked him into a hook. But Saravia crashing those oh, hooks into the body. Right right hand. Big overhand right there, Two. landed Two. by Two. Victor. Two. Bang on the button there. Saravia. And Hit McGowan six, really was absolutely seven, shocked by that. We knew Saravia was heavy handed and perhaps a flash knockdown. McGowan's legs look okay, but is he going to be put under some serious pressure by the American now? In this is not business. looking good. Big, big hands from the American, but McGowan comes back, up, literally oh. takes him off his feet with these hooks. Big overhand right there from Victor is immensely powerful. Left hook off the back of it, and McGowan's getting dragged into a war. He needs to get out of there and get his distance back. Do not box a boxer. Don't stand in war with this guy. Oh, and he's cut him though. McGowan landed a lovely right elbow. Just as we say that. And the blood is absolutely pouring. And if it's going to be anything reminiscent of one of the fights on the it's undercard the tonight, we're in, for, we're in for a Time. real war. There's a big cut there. But it's right back on the hairline. It's not in a dangerous place. Can I have a check at this point? He wants the medic to have a look at it. Well, that came at just the right time for Dan McGowan. He was in desperate trouble and he had to throw something to cause a bit of impact and try and turn the tide. He smashed the right elbow in. I'm sure we'll get that in the replay in the interim. They're going to call this fight, I think. Sorry. Oh, Saravir is livid. He's travelled a long, long way for this. And Sorry, well, son been stopped much against his will and it again is, not uh, Dan McGowan's fault but oh he, there's two cuts there's one on the forehead further forward where you can just see it and there's one back in the hairline oh well, Dan McGowan really you'd have to say that was a bit of a get out of jail free car for him because he was under some serious pressure there here's the uh, the first knockdown from Saravia the left hook and then the Big right overhand right here he goes to the body Crash and then he goes upstairs bang in the temple just knock McGowan. Here we and go then. from the other side, left to the body. Here he goes, that's when he throws the left. Left, right to the body, then right over the top. Bang, as he moves, catches McGowan sweet in the temple. One more time. So here's the cut, the elbow oh, driven into the forehead there. And that was that's the second one there yep. that did the damage. Yeah, second elbow was the one that cut him. Took a second or two to start pouring. Bang, there it is. And we you go, just see it coming angle. through the hairline. Bang, almost the elbow forwards onto the forehead there. Ladies That's and cool. gentlemen, put your hands together and show your appreciation wow. for both of those men after one and a half excellent rounds of action there. And with two minutes and 11 seconds completed of round number two, your referee has stopped the contest after Victor Saravia sustains a cut, deeming him out of the bout. Therefore, your winner by TKO fighting out of the red corner, it's Daniel McGowan. Great win there for Daniel McGowan. And very, show very your dangerous appreciation opponent. for our very game runner-up, Victor, Victor Saravia. Well, Saravia, understandably disappointed. You travel eight or 9,000 miles, you touch down, you've done all your training, all your preparation to come across and make a big statement. And so nearly he did that too. Daniel, McGowan come in. in a flash turned Ooh. it on its head. You Moral of the now. story, ladies and gentlemen, do not try and knock out Daniel McGowan. Got rocked, got caught there, didn't you? Made you very angry. Why did you have to do that? Uh, he caught me. Um, his, he caught me with a body shot first, which made my guard go down, and he hit me with a big shot, and that put me down in the corner. But um, I know Victor Starr, and um, I knew he was going to come come for the big punches after that. And um, this is Muay Thai, and if one shot does it like that, it happened to me in America. Happened to Victor today, and um, Victor's a tough guy, and um, I respect him a lot. And I'll, obviously, in rematches in in place for him, definitely. Um, but yeah, I showed heart again today, and that's, that's why I've just won my 20 second fight. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the best elbow technicians in the country, 100%. And um, also, I'd like to thank Dan Savage, in the, um, he's somewhere there. Um, he sponsored me, he's, he's made my, 
He's basically made my dream come true. All my fans that come every time, my dad, girl, my girlfriend, my mates there. Thanks everyone, love you all. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for the boy, Daniel McGowan, come on. KB. He was losing that, but a stoppage for the big gash in the geezer's head. Nasty. <laughs> we got technical there, the big gash. Now Dan McGowan certainly shows what he was made of. Let's get Victor in though. He's come over from America. Victor, I know that's not how you wanted to finish that fight, but it was still a good fight. You certainly were looking like you were going to have it. Um, yeah, you know, um, he, Dan is a really technical fighter. I knew he didn't have the speed, the power to hurt anyone, and I had that advantage, you know. Um, I got too too confident, and I got caught with an elbow. So it was he got lucky. <laughs> what do you make of the rest decision? Because he was winning that until that point. Um, I don't think he was winning. I think we were both um, equal. Um, I caught him with an overhand, and um, I got too confident. He he got the elbows in, and that's how he went. Yeah. Fantastic. Thanks for talking to us. We'll let you go with your coach well done, well done, now. Thanks. And if we can get Dan McGowan in, he is somewhere. He's going to be smiling. He's getting congratulations from well, everyone. Mike. He's smiling back from an eight count. That's the way to yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it just shows that Muay Thai is so dangerous. And um, if you rush in like that, you, you're going to get you're going to get hurt as well. He said he got too confident. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know his style, and he's a wicked fighter, and he's a powerhouse. And um, and I knew he was going to rush in like that. At one point, even if it wasn't after I got rocked, I knew he was going to do that at one point in the fight. And um, we've been drilling that and drilling that and drilling that. And today. It pays off. Yeah. You think you got a bad elbow? You should see his head. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's, um, I, it happened to me in America when I went over. I got cut, my lip got split open bad, and it's gutting. It is gutting, and um, he deserves a rematch because he hurt me, and he got, he come to fight, and fair play to him. Now, Dan, everybody here, the buzz is about you. Everyone is saying you're one of the biggest prospects. I'm not putting any pressure on you, <laughs> but what's next for you? Um, I've got. Hopefully, I'm fighting that that qualifies me to fight in lion fight in America. Um, maybe for the world title against uh, John Noffa. Maybe that that's been talked about. And then in July, I'm fighting a Thai that's top 10 ranked in uh, Thailand. Um, and that's like my biggest fight. And that's the fights that I want. And um, that's the fights I train hard for. So, yeah, it's, um, everything's going well at the moment. And no rest for the wicked then. Nah, this is a busy year to this year. I've got I'm, I'm fully booked this year. So yeah, no rest and keeping uh, keeping tune on my Facebook page, Dan McGowan or Daniel McGowan. And then my Twitter at Dan McGowan MT. Keep plugging, keep plugging. Plug plug uh, my Instagram at Dan McGowan MT. <laughs> and you can visit his house or one yeah. more. <laughs> Snapchat, yeah, I've got everything. I've got everything. Fantastic. Congratulations, well done, Dan. Mike. We'll hand back over to Pete. There's still more fights happening. Oh, Pete's turned his back, so we won't hand over to Pete for a second.